Hey there YouTube, Steamtown Gaming here, and I'm back with probably the final episode of Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. So basically we just, you know, went into the base and found out that Leon was in there spying with Ada Wong. Uh, Ada Wong was presumed dead, but she, her body's gone missing, and as we know, Ada Wong is clearly still alive. So we're going to go into it now. It's called the End of the Line Mission, and it goes like this. Leon S. Kennedy is proving... Uh, pro Protecting Sherry Burke, who holds the key to the G virus antigen. The government is sending reinforcements to help them. If Wolfpack can't rescue the girl and kill Leon, Umbrella won't be forgiven this time. So, this is where the game actually sort of splits off. We have a chance to either help Leon or kill him. Either way, we get a transport out and we can actually kill him in this game. Uh, remember, which of course isn't canon. Killing him isn't canon, but helping him is. So, here we go. So, Sherry Birkins uh, is a child, of course. She, um, basically all they did was take a few DNA samples, uh, and that was it. That's all they really needed her for. Um, and then they started, you know, looking into it. I don't think they came up with a full cure for the, uh, G virus. I think they maybe found uh, vaccines or something from it, but that is about it. And that's all they, um, the good guys, really wanted from her was just a couple vials of her blood, given at any point in time. But really, it's just you know they're the good guys. They care about this little girl, so they didn't do too much. Okay, moving on. Da -da 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 -da. Loading, loading, loading. So, uh, this, I said this might be the last episode, I can't guarantee it is because uh, this ha game has network features and if the servers are still up and rational, I might see if anyone wants to play. Umbrella can and would kill them given the opportunity, so. Um, if Umbrella's already got the G virus, we can't trust them. We need a plan B. So, I know that you guys are thinking, hey, um, what decision I'm gonna make? I'm gonna be the good guy. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna save Sherry from Umbrella. Once again, no head and arm ripped off. I'm starting to really think that the hunters had come through here. Because the hunters have been known to do that, rip people's heads off. We saw that in Resident Evil 3 Project. Oh good, good. didn't do the head because, you know, it would, um, there's a lot of detail in the face. I know that because I like the paint. And the faces and basically hands are the real biggest pain in the when you want to paint something.
got no ammo, so I'm just basically just gonna run. the U.S. Special Forces. Dicks. Defeat Leon and Claire and recover Sherry Burton. Two minutes ago. Oh, 
Oh no, no! Oh, that sucked. I was so close that time too. Oh, I've got to start all the way back here. I come home. Oh, that sucks.
gun has to be a shotgun. It sucks. Ah. Oh, crap, I'm, I'm hurt. I'm really hurt. No, the infection. Watch out! <sighs> Take him out. She's got a grenade launcher.
Where's the little girl? Claire! Take Sherry! Get out of here! Leon, no! Bring that Birkin girl over here or we'll take our time with this cop! Go! <coughs> Don't hurt him! Alright, we're coming! Hurry it up! Why are you doing this? For Umbrella? Money? <coughs> What's in it for you, huh? Uh, we joined up with Leon, obviously, but uh, two of our squad mates have turned against us. That's basically what happened. So, um, yeah. We now have to execute our own squad mates in order to, you know, finish the game. But we'll get the team up. Ah! Ah! If we kill him, Umbrella doesn't need us anymore. We have to... Take our time with this cop. Go! <coughs> Don't hurt him! All right, we're coming! Hurry it up! Why are you doing this? For Umbrella? Money? <coughs> What's in it for you, huh? If we finish this mission, we're as good as dead! The only way out of here is to go 
targets have been apprehended. Eliminate them and bring us the girl. We can do that. But first, we need to renegotiate our deal. What are you talking about? You left us for dead fighting your B.O.W.s. We want triple the original amount and an evac chopper sent to our location immediately. You must be out of your mind. We're not negotiating with you. Finish your mission. Finish it yourself. Consider our contract with Umbrella Terminate it. Then you can die along with Raccoon City. We'll take our chances. <sighs> Why didn't you kill us? You aren't the leverage we thought you were. Umbrellas turned on us already. It's time we stab them in the back. What about Sherry? Keeper, we've got other plans. Once we get out of this city, we're gonna gut Umbrella from the inside out.
So that is the end of Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. I certainly enjoyed the game. And um, yeah, if write in the comments on what you think I should play next. So that was a good game. Um, a few things I didn't like about it though. Uh, it did seem quite uh, repetitive, a uh, lot of the missions, even though we were going to different areas, it just seemed the same thing over and over. They could have mixed them up, uh, added some, you know, unique missions that could have been, you know, put into the game, but overall it wasn't too bad, and uh, the graphics were awesome for it. I love the graphics, nothing to complain about there. This is a good team, but I see too many mistakes out there. I just heard the um, Lupo talk in the background. Another thing I didn't really care for was the ammo, ammo consumption. So you just chewed through it and then you're stuck with a shitty sidearm. And it's just terrible. And uh, that sucked. Um, yeah, I would, I'd love it if they had better weapon, um, better, you know, ammo storage. I know it's, you know, making it more difficult, that, but it, it became less difficult. You just, more of a pain in the ass. I didn't like it. But overall, that's the only real bad thing I have to say about the game. I, in fact, loved it. I love the storyline. I love the characters involved, the attitudes, everything. It was an awesome game. I recommend that everyone should at least own this for their little collection if they're into the Resident Evil games. It is a game that they should definitely have. And they should get it relatively soon because it's going to get harder and harder to find as time goes on. So. Um, maybe next time you see it, the DB Games or something like that or online, just, you know, consider getting it. It's just that simple. I'm, I'm waiting for the credits to roll out. I'm hoping that there's an end cutscene, but I doubt there is. But we're going to go check it out anyway. Uh, we've unlocked some, what is it, bonus content in regards to the, you know, little pictures and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and see the pictures after the credits, which I'll you know, show you. And then I'll even make a one more final episode if this game has online features. I simply do not know if this game has online features. And at one point, of course, it did. You can join into other people's missions or you can play versus. Uh, this is the same with Resident Evil 5 as well, but I just Anything don't know if their service is still operational. So at the Resident Evil, oh sorry. Let's try this again. The Resident Evil franchise, you see, it sort of passes out the franchise to other gaming companies. So the what is it? The graphics can change and the gameplay itself can change so differently in these little side games because they basically just lease it out to any company that wants to have a good crack at a Resident Evil game. So yeah, there's so many games that so many side games essentially that work completely different from each other because they're made by different companies. And that's just really interesting as well. It's just a really big franchise that they've created and it's just really interesting and you know, the fact that people have just taken this game and ran with it. Pet color, blah, blah, blah. Near the end. Too many mistakes out there. Well, it's nearly done now. See, all these people just contributed to just about a lot of um, the game. These little, you know, studios. It's just a combined effort of so many different people, 
and then split off again to make more games. It's just, you know, an incredible feat. Gold Tooth Creative. I'd imagine that the servers may still be up because, you know, there's Resident Evil 5 and they had a similar setup, so they probably put them on the same server. So I'd say there's a very good chance that these servers are still very up online. It's just a matter of fact if anyone's still playing these servers. There, that was the end of the credits. They just keep going. Can I skip them? I'm going to be pissed if I can skip the credits. I can't skip the credits. God damn it. I mean, I got a B. That's pretty good. Come on. Yes, level up. I have no idea what that does, by the way, rank. Perhaps that levels up for the um, online capability? I don't know. I just don't know. Loading. Keep your distance from enemies while using a sniper rifle, long range scope, with a long with a long range scope. So that's taking us back to the uh, first mission. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you the unlocked content that we've got. Versus records, options, downloadable content, additional content for the game, galleries. Here we go. So that's all we've unlocked. Just that one because we have to go to the um the computer and sort of register it so I haven't obviously done that. That's still pretty cool. Alright YouTube, this is gonna be the end of the episode. Uh, like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, leave a comment on what game you think I should play next. Perhaps it's a game that you you know that's out there, Resident Evil, that I just don't know about. Alright, YouTube, I shall catch you later.